Beta Gang, it's Ada Ace, and today I've got a 50x leverage trade that I executed over on Blowfin. And if you are new to leverage trading, I'm going to be making a video that has key terms, definitions, and everything you need to know about leverage trading. So stick around for that one. But today I've got my 50x leverage trade, but first make sure you like, subscribe, and um, make sure you share it out on the socials if you got something from the video today. So, without any further ado, let's dive right into it. Let's go. Hey guys, so here we are. We're looking at our trade that I did, our 50x leverage trade on Blowfin. So we had a perfect uh, location here, and we had a value area gap above it. And we were at the value area low of this larger range that we had been playing a lot throughout the day. So I went ahead and placed the 50x leverage trade here once we broke back above it and we confirmed above the value area low. And let's go ahead and press play. It's going to move fast. So we're looking at this here. I'm moving some things around. And um, I'm moving my stop loss. I like my stop loss anywhere between 0.12 and 0.2 um, percent, uh, especially on a 50x leverage trade. You don't want to have too much that's still losing a couple of hundred dollars um, on this size of a margin trade. I do believe I was about $2,600 um, on the margin for this trade. So we had it testing at the 20 simple moving average on the one minute chart here we have two fair value gaps below it um, i was watching to see how it was going to do and we started printing bullish above that we did stop and test at the uh that's the red line is the trailing stop on the uh short trade for Lux Algo. So we're still currently below that. I was watching that, kind of concerned about it, but as you can tell, the simple moving average then turned and I started to look at that. Um, trying to see if we're going to print and stay above it. I have our trade on there so you can see my PL as we go. We printed a bearish candle there and we did print a candle above the value area low of that again place to rock it it's go time uh the money value uh the money flow sorry is going up the macd is going up our rsi has bottomed now i'm moving in and showing the var value area gaps a little easier just in case we move a little further from them and this is the entire value area that we've been trading all day up down up down up down around um and here we go so now we're back to this again um really quickly here this trade took about three hours for the entire thing to go and i was recording the entire time so we're running about 20x speed on most of this video trying to make it not so damn long uh but i did this for y'all i had no idea how it was going to turn out um and i do believe we were in it for about 1300 dollars if we won the trade completely the money flow is still going down. I'd be a little concerned here, but I was still confident in my trade. So we're moving along here. So I'm turning off some of my indicators so I can see uh, the, the chart a little better. We are still below that trailing stop on Deluxe Algo. Um, so I was getting a little concerned, but we're down on the one minute. So I'm looking for bullish confirmations here. And this is probably where I should have entered the trade. Um, if I would have been patient, um, but wasn't being patient. Um, and all in all, uh, I didn't get stopped out, but I could have got a little more out of the trade. Um, if I would have waited and placed the trade right here, this is the bullish confirmation that we got right there. Uh, Bullish RSI divergence on the one minute is quite bullish. It may not go very far, but with all of the other confirmations of the money flow being on the mend and being a possible bottom, you have the MACD that's on its way up as well. So now we're writing this up. Um, we're looking at on the five minute, 
because that's normally where I run between the five minutes and the, and the 15 minute when we're running between 20 and 50 X leverage. Um, when you run a little leverage, less leverage down, uh, you can do that a little differently. I'll have a different video out on the differences of leverages, what margin is, and a couple other things that I've learned along my way here. This is where I noticed that we printed above it and we printed it and we started skyrocketing. So this is when I start looking for confirmations of how far we're going to go and start looking for my stop loss because I don't want to lose too much of this trade now um, because we were in the positive a couple of hundred dollars at this point. As you can see, it's up 400 and something dollars. So we start moving in and I do believe this is where I, yep, I placed my stop loss there. So we have moved the stop loss into profit so this is a guaranteed winning trade at this point. Always want to make sure that you move stop losses into profits, um, TP1, TP2, um, set your take profits. Uh, don't let it just run. I had a trade yesterday that ran um, and I would have done just fine if I would have actually set the take profit, but uh, I went and sat down and ate dinner for 15 minutes and um, a lot of it came about. So we're looking at it now. I was looking at that, you know, a bull flag, a bull pennant, whatever you want to call it there. Um, I was looking at it because that's actually going to take it to where I wanted it to go. I started getting concerned here because we started falling below and below all of the moving averages except the 20. I was showing that the that is the bullish stop loss on the longs from the Lux Algo um, was showing that it was bending over. So I was concerned that we were gonna come back to it. Um, we were failing below the moving averages here, so I was definitely watching this very strongly. Um, it also played with me very much uh, right here because I was very concerned when it flashed that red candle like that. Uh, it's pretty much bearish at that point, but we tested the uh, stop loss, uh, trailing stop loss on the long setting from Lux Algo. So we're still in the trade. The other Lux Algo you saw that just came up that is the teal, um, it came up. So I was very confident that we were actually going to um, print a bullish candles from here. Um, we had played with this because remember, we're running at 20X uh, speed for that candle there. I showed that the simple moving average 20 on the five minute did curl up. So we were possibly going to be positive. So we're just waiting for this candle to decide what it's going to do. Um, had me sitting here forever during this. So I started looking at it and let's uh, draw something else. And it's like, hey, look, we have a triangle. We have those three moving averages. They've moved around. We're starting to test one of them. Um, actually, it wasn't a triangle. It was a... Uh, trend line that we broke. So well, I think we were going positive there. Sorry for the memory lapse of words. So we keep testing the different moving averages. We're doing positive, we're doing well because we're testing, we're going up. Now I'm sitting here looking at, did we actually create a triangle? Kind of looks like we did. There's the target, can get us to the POC. Okay, so I'm looking for bearish divergence, bullish divergence. I didn't see anything yet. We are failing currently at that simple moving average, but we are looking like we might. Oh, look, look, yep. We're gonna we're gonna print bullish here, or and it plays around in this candlestick for its whole five minutes or so. So move the trend line down, thinking that maybe we we're gonna retest the trend line on the bottom side of the triangle before going up, thinking that that might happen. We just tested the 20, printed green. Now we're over the uh, 50. Coming up on the 100. Come back and test the 50. Positive. The 50 and the 20 are about to cross, which is bullish. They have crossed. And this candlestick has got a little more volume to it, I think. A little more bullish volume. We just hit $500 there. 
Now it looks like we're gonna come back down and retest uh, the 50 or the 20 for the 100. We're above the 100 again. That's good. It's good, positive motion. Um, I was still thinking we're doing really great, really great here. Um, all right, now we have created what I am about to show you as a W pattern. We are above the 200. We're bullish. I'm doing great. There is the red line that is a Lux Algo um, for the bearish side. It should stay below that if it should stay bearish. So I was hoping that we were about to come up to that and break above it, and that did not happen. We broke below the 200, set at the 100, and um, I'm sitting here moving things around, thinking about what I want to do because I'm thinking that we're going to break out of this. Um, so I've set my stop loss. I see that we maybe have a head and shoulders pattern that we might have. And I move the stop loss up to the right shoulder. I thought that we were going to do good here with that fair amount of fair value market gap, fair market value gap, whatever the hell it is, uh, printing there, thinking that we're going to go maybe above it. We're still above the bullish stop loss. We failed. We red printed dot. red, left the fair value gap, and we ended up closing the trade at... As always, don't forget to smash the like button, hit the subscribe for more in-depth, detailed content on Cardano, ADA, technical analysis, and all things DeFi and trading. And hey, share this out on your socials for me. I'd really appreciate it. All right. I'll see y'all next time. Peace.